Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Live streaming from the floor of ITW 2024. This is JSA TV and JSA Podcast, your newsroom for digital infrastructure industry. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO and founder of JSA. And I am honored and thrilled to have my good friend, John Day, Chief Commercial Officer of Clean Arc Data Centers. John, welcome, welcome. Well, thank you, it's nice to talk to you again. We are so thrilled that you are back for a returning hot seat interview. Uh, we've got so much to talk about, but let's get started with a little, you know, setting the table. Sure. For our viewers who might not already know, and you should, guys, give us a little bit about CleanArc. Sure. So CleanArc Data Centers is a new hyperscale data center development platform. Uh, it was founded a couple years ago by Jim Trout, uh, who uh, some of the viewers may know was uh, the first CEO at Coresight. He was employee number seven at Digital Realty Trust. He founded Vantage Data Centers as well. So this is, uh, you know, another entrepreneurial venture for Jim. Yeah, he's pretty respected. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and so, uh, you know, we've got really three elements to the business. I mean, we're looking to develop at scale. Uh, we're bringing a new approach to clean energy structuring for behalf on behalf of our clients. Uh, and we're trying to extend this notion of modular data center construction or what Jim likes to call data center production even further than the industry is doing right now. Oh, and we are excited because you're taking a really unique approach. Let's, let's just, you're reinventing data center development for hyperscalers. That's not, that's, that's not, that's not a small task. So would you elaborate further on your unique approach? Sure, and and look, we're not uh, we're not arrogant. We're not uninformed, right? There there are good companies out there that are taking some of these approaches too. Um, and the first, as I mentioned, is is we're looking to develop at scale. So we're talking 200, 300, 500 acre campuses wow. uh, where we can deploy 300 to 500 megawatts of data center capacity in a single campus. The idea is, you know, hyperscalers are looking for that these days. If they like you as an operator and they like your site, then why not give them plenty of room to expand and grow? Um, and the second is uh, what I referred to a few minutes ago with clean energy structuring. So um, the, the, the ESG goals that a lot of the hyperscalers have right now, um, they're, they're pursuing those, but it's really kind of a bifurcated effort inside the hyperscale organization. So the data center, the infrastructure team will go out and they'll either uh, build their own data center capacity or they'll lease data center capacity. And then they sort of throw that over the table and say, well, we just did 120 megawatts in this location. Um, we need you, the sustainability team, to go out and figure out the carbon offset to that 120 megawatts that we're consuming. Um, so what we're trying to do is to tackle that problem up front. Mm -hmm. So our data center campuses will be grid connected, high availability, resilient, you know, world-class like all of our competitors' data center campuses. But what we're doing at the same time is partnering with third-party renewable energy developers to bring new renewable energy projects online in the same region or area where the data center campus is deployed. So the, the net result is bringing new green electrons onto the grid in the same region, again, where the data center campus is being delivered. Um, and allowing our tenants to then strike an arrangement with those renewable energy developers to capture that new green energy credit and, and get that carbon offset from day one, rather than, again, throwing that problem over the transom to someone else and, and dealing with it you know, after the fact. So that's really the, you know, the second key component. And then the third is um, what we're calling offsite manufacturing. So, there's, uh, again, some companies that are doing some really innovative things right now in terms of modular data center production or construction. We're trying to extend that concept even further so that really large chunks of the MEP infrastructure that go into the data center are actually uh, constructed offsite in a controlled environment and then delivered via ship and rail, or excuse me, via truck and rail to the data center campus where they can be dropped into the, into the powered shell to allow us more certainty around delivery and hopefully speed to delivery and speed to market on behalf of our tenants. Incredible forward thinking, like if I was to sum that all up. Um, very proactive um, and, and innovative. So if your mind was blown, by the way, I should mention, uh, by what you just heard, 
green electrons. You're like, what? I need to Google that. Also, it's in the book, guys. Bill Thomas wrote a chapter in Greener Data, Volume 2, and we highly recommend go ahead and pick that up because the amount of information that Clean Arc has so graciously provided us, the details, it's it's definitely uh, worthy of your time and uh and engagement. It is incredible. So thank you again for yes. all that you're doing for sustainability in our industry, really being the leaders there that we need to be inspired from and innovate with. I, we appreciate that. All right. So what should viewers expect from Clean Arc this year? Because it seems like, you know, each year you kind of blow in our minds. Well, um, you know, this year it's time to deliver, right? I mean, we've, we've been spending a lot of time, Jim and Bill, as you mentioned, who's kind of the brain behind the en energy structuring offering. Uh, Lindsey Bruner and others have been putting the company together in a place where we can execute this year. So um, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll be hearing news from us soon uh, about a new capital raise. So we should be closing a new round of funding uh, in the very near future, hopefully 60, 90 days, something like that. That will also allow us to close on that, on that first campus. So we'll have a flagship campus that will be around 600 acres, around 600 megawatts to be able to bring to the market. Uh, and we also have a couple of other sites um, under control that where we're performing due diligence right now. So based on how quickly that goes, how well that goes, we may have uh, two other campuses to announce here before the end of 2024. Wow. Okay. So total execution mode is what I'm hearing. Where can our That's viewers right. go for more information, John? Well, no, uh, no surprise. Uh, you can go to www.cleanarcdatacenters.com. That's it. Clean Arc datacenters.com. Absolutely visit, check them out. Thank you so much for your time and insight on this very busy ITW morning. We appreciate you always. And thank you viewers for tuning in as we are streaming again live from the floor of ITW 2024. Happy networking.